CataractCoach.com, recurrent pterygium surgery. Let's show a technique for the best results and prevention of the recurrence. So our guest surgeon is Pradeep Mohanta from India, truly a master surgeon. I like this video. I learned from it, so I want to show it to you. We're going to speed it up to three times normal so we can get through it fast. But look what's happening now. With a recurrent pterygium and previous surgery, you can't just lift the pterygium off the cornea and pull it off. It's not going to peel off that easily. You've got to do a lot of dissection there. You've got to do the dissection very carefully, and that's a very important part of this surgery. You want to separate that conjunctiva without damaging it from that underlying pterygium. And there's all this prior scarring from the prior surgery. So there you see a big mountain of the pterygium, and the tenons layer, and you're trying to get to the base of it. And that's a pretty good dissection. Now notice, no cautery, no cautery at all. So now a little bit more dissection here, and you can see that conjunctival opening is going to enlarge a little bit more as more of this tenons is carefully dissected off. So the goal here is to get down to bare sclera and dissect off this tenons layer of the pterygium. There it is, going to the other side of it as well. Now, you want to dissect it very carefully on this plane. Don't enter into the corneal stroma at all. So you really have to take your time and get a good plane. A master surgeon like Dr. Mohanta takes about 15 minutes for the surgery. We sped it up. So it may take you 20 or 30 minutes. That's okay. Be patient. But now you see, as the rest of that tenon is carefully removed, the cornea is not damaged at all. Very careful about that. And once the tenons are removed, there you see we have the bare sclera. Now, there are a couple areas that are thinned out there, and that may be from prior use of cautery, which you have to be very careful of cautery and the bare sclera, or maybe there was a mitomycin agent used previously. You don't really know. But dabbing everything here, and now you see the extent of that conjunctival opening. So he's using calipers now to measure that. Are you going to do any cautery? No, no cautery at all. And we'll talk about that. So now I'm marking the superior conjunctiva for some donor conj. And so we'll take a you'll take a free graft of conjunctiva from this superior virgin area. And he's just putting a few ink marks down there. You want to get just the conjunctival layer from this superior graft part. So you can inject either BSS or some people put some lidocaine, injecting that to help separate the conjunctiva from the underlying tenons. Take your time here now to dissect out, again, just the conjunctiva. Leave it attached at the limbus, and we want that for traction. Try not to damage the underlying tenons. If you take off just the conjunctiva and leave the bare tenons layer behind, the epithelium of the conjunctiva will close and grow over that with a minimal amount of scarring. So that conjunctival area that you're going to dissect, when you leave this superior part bare, it will grow back. It will re-epithelialize. So there we go. There is the flap, flipping that over and getting a good dissection. And the tenons is basically completely intact. And you see the thin conjunctival layer now pushed up over the cornea. And that's helpful to keep it in a good position. So now it's there, cleaning off the bed, drying off any blood there. And there are only a couple spots that are oozing. So here, cutting the graft off, you have to flip it back over. You want the epithelial side up, of course. So now there, he just flipped it over. And he's placing it now over the cornea, drying off the bed there. And just to make sure he has some fresh blood, he's going to use a blade here and just do a few nicks of those capillaries just to get some fresh blood oozing. So once he has that fresh blood, he quickly paces, places the graft over it, sets the graft down, and he's going to use the natural fiber and the natural clotting of the blood to hold the graft without sutures. Now two cotton tip swabs are used to roll any fluid or blood from behind the graft out. And you can see the graft is not moving at all. You're just carefully rolling out and squeegeeing out, pushing out any fluid that's in that interface. And you want just a little bit of that fresh blood there. And now this is going to stay. He's going to just wait and then patch the eye for about 48 hours and then carefully remove the patch. And let me show you his post-op pictures. They look great. So this is a neat technique. No sutures needed. 
Very nice dissection, a little bit of antibiotic placed at the end. Careful, here's the post-op appearance. Wow, that looks beautiful. Thanks for the great video.